Architect Mike Davis. Mike, thanks so much for taking the time for the viewers this morning. Uh, and obviously on a, an inappropriate day, uh, the first day of, of this term. Talk to me about this. What should viewers be paying attention to? Which cases? Well, this is going to be a, a big term like last term. We're going to look at the Supreme Court justices are going to look at the federal government's uh, claims of power, like with the EPA case, whether they have power under the Clean Water Act to, to regulate a much, as much of the American economy as they think they do. Uh, under our Constitution, the, the federal government is supposed to have specific, uh, enumerated, limited, and divided powers, and whatever is not listed in the Constitution is supposed to belong to the states and the people. And that got turned on its head 90 years ago. And I think what we're going to see with this uh, new constitutionalist court, uh, because of President Trump and his three appointments, you're going to start to see the, the Supreme Court starting to roll back these federal powers under the Constitution, and it's going to be a 20-year project. And looking into this, uh, there are also cases on the docket. You, you mentioned that there are going to be some high-profile ones that may garner national attention, much like Ro the overturning of Roe v. Wade did. Uh, which many think is going to have an impact on midterm elections. That's how much national interest it does have. Um, but then you've got to think, we still don't know who leaked that, that document. We still don't know who the leaker was to leak um, what would have been the decision on overturning Roe v. Wade. Does that have any impact? Is, there, is that investigation still ongoing? Will that ever have a result? I think uh, two justices, Justice Gorsuch, my former boss, and uh, Justice Kagan have made public comments about this recently. I think, so based upon those public comments, I think those two justices at least expect that the Supreme Court get to the bottom of this. And so I, I think the, the Chief Justice and the Marshal of the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court police need to get to the bottom of this. So they, there needs to be a resolution. You can't leak out a draft opinion like this, and it led to death threats against Supreme Court justices and their families getting moved to safe houses, a 1 a.m. assassination attempt against Justice Kavanaugh, his wife Ashley, and their two daughters. Uh, they have to get to the bottom of this. And so uh, whatever they need to do, if, the, if they're not able to do this, I've been saying that it needs to, it needs to be handled by the Supreme Court, but if they're not able to do, do this, maybe the FBI needs to get involved. You would think that there would a precedent would need to be set so that this does not happen again, and or there would be no chance of something like that ever happening again, specifically if there are um, some real controversial opinions that will come in these cases. Some of these cases coming up on the docket uh, are reg in regards to gender, in regards to race, in regards to college admissions. Um, those are some you're watching for. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a big term. One, another huge case that's going to come out of this Supreme Court is how, demo, un, under the Constitution, it is up to the state legislatures to redraw U.S. House district uh, seats every 10 years. And Democrats have hijacked this process, and they have their Democrat-appointed justices on their state Supreme Courts and their Democrat-appointed commissions that have hijacked this process from the state legislatures and they redraw the, the, the House district seats to favor Democrats. Well, I think the Supreme Court's going to fix that this term, and that's going to be, uh, that's going to cause uh, a, a, lo a lot of uh, a howling on the left. But, it, uh, but it, it's clearly what the Constitution says. Uh, that is a former law clerk for Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch, Mike Davis, joining us live here. Mike, thanks so much. We appreciate that.